Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Africa Budget Pillar Cover. So, in the recent weeks I've done quite a lot of videos on the Artemis CP1, or in some places of the world they'll call it uh, the Diana Airbag, and this has really changed quite a bit with all the work that I've done to it, but also with um, some things that I've added on to it. So definitely we would expect that with everything that we've done, we should be able to get a little bit more accuracy out of it, and we're going to be testing that today. I've also got a new silencer that I'd like to show you. So this is one, a 3D printed silencer. This was done for me by Quibus, um, the same friend that does the printing for the Artemis CP2. Um, the Artemis CP2 cheap riser, and uh, he really does a very, very nice job in terms of 3D prints, and this silencer is no different. So, what we're going to do, we're going to shoot 5 shot group, 10 meters, the same as what I did on the original review, and let's see. Bearing in mind, it is still me shooting this pistol, so I am not the best shot by any stretch of the imagination. But I think with all the changes that we've got, I might just give myself a little bit of an edge. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to perform a bit better. So, let's see how we go. Hey everyone, just wanted to give a quick shout out again to security and more our new channel sponsor if you get the chance please go over visit their website securityandmore.co.za they have everything that you need for this beautiful hobby of ours and definitely they will give you the support that you need as well as the technical help you need and most importantly they will give you the service that you deserve so please go over there support security and more and uh, let's get back to the video. All right, so put some more gas in. I fired a few shots just to get rid of some of the inconsistency. And uh, hopefully, let's take five shots. Let's see if we can get a tighter group than when we did the original review. Hopefully, over the last month or two that I've been shooting this, my shooting skills have also improved a bit. Um, I've been I've shot one competition, which was a bucket load of fun. That was really nice, and uh, that's at 20 meters. So, but definitely that was a lot of fun. One thing that I've found, especially now shooting with the open sights a little bit more, uh, a little monocular really comes in handy. And uh, especially when you're shooting competition, open sights at 20 meters. It's really quite a challenge to be able to see your shots and your target. Um, even more so with the 177, so definitely something to invest in. Alright, let me grab the target and see how we did. But uh, from here, definitely looks like we've got a, a nice tight group there. So let me quickly grab the target. I think that target definitely speaks for itself. Definitely couldn't ask for more than that. There's four shots all touching each other. That's with open sights at 10 meters. Unbelievable. The one was a little bit away, which was probably due to me. Uh, operator error, let's call it that. Well, we've definitely done some work on the internals. 
You'll remember the video where I showed you how to clean the valve, clean the hammer, how to set the trigger. Have we done some work on the handle? Most definitely. Look at that beautiful handle. Absolutely love it. Fits the hand like a glove. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Fits all the way around for the thumb, for the fingers. Everything just works like it's supposed to. Then we also cleaned up the barrel at the back here so that we could be able to load it. Look how nice and smooth that loads. Even if I put a pellet in here. Look at this. Absolutely smooth. Perfect. And then we've got the silencer. 3D printed on the front here. I'll probably do something with the color of this to try and match the, the handle. But this definitely works great. Still need to get a little 3mm grab screw to put in there. But for now, that will work. So if you're interested in this silencer, let me know. Drop me an email and uh, you can reach out to Quibbers to have one printed for you. And they really aren't very expensive to print. So till next time guys, happy shooting. See you around. Keep safe.